Hi there, you must be here for the VIP tour. Excellent. We have one starting right now. Step right this way and I'll get you there in no time. Let's start from the left side of the screen. Here you will see the Canvas Global Navigation menu. This links you to resources outside of our course. Here is where you can access your Canvas profile, which you'll be doing soon so that you can add a photo and a bio. You will also find your dashboard. and a list of all of your courses. You also have a calendar and your Canvas inbox. If you need to send an email to me or anyone else in our course, click on the inbox and then on the icon to compose a new message. You select the course and to choose the recipient, you can use the people icon to look at everyone enrolled in the course, or you can simply start typing the name and it will pull up the names that start with those letters. Type the subject, type the message, and click send. If you choose to have Canvas messages delivered to your email, you can reply to any message sent to you via Canvas directly from your email account, which is one of my favorite features of Canvas. We can go back and forth in a conversation using Canvas and email, and the whole thing will be stored right here in Canvas. Okay, back to the Canvas global navigation pane. At the bottom is a really important resource, the help button. When you click on that question mark, a handy little dialog box opens up with help options, including a direct path to emailing the instructor and a link to the Canvas guides. If you look on the right side of the screen, you will see a little to-do list that changes as assignments and grading comes and goes. Okay, let's focus on our course now. You have a course menu next to the global one, although you can hide it if you wish. Here you'll find the essentials, announcements, quizzes, discussions, assignments, grades, etc. The syllabus feature is an automatic list of the assignments for the course and due dates, and it changes as you make changes elsewhere in the course. You'll also find the syllabus here, of course, as long as you add it. You can use the virtual office link for quick access to my Zoom room, which is where we can meet each week to discuss all things DE. What you see here in the middle is the home page. You will also see that I have switched to the student view. The home page in Canvas is a blank canvas. Get it? That can be customized in many different ways. You can even change what you put here as the course progresses. For our course, we have some quick access buttons at the top and links to each week of content as the weeks become available. I also have a short video hello and contact information here. Let's check out the orientation unit by clicking the Start Here button. We could also get there through modules, but that requires a few extra clicks. The modules view is like a table of contents for the modules for each week. From here, you can move directly to any page, activity, or assignment that is open in the course. From the instructor view, you can see the ones that aren't open as well. Back on the home page, 
let's take the faster train to the first module, the Start Here button. The modules in our course are designed to be completed in order. When you are finished with a page, use the Next button to move through the resources and activities. You will find that everything you need for the week is here. There is no need to hop around to different areas of the course. In part two of these, this week's materials, you will find a quiz and a discussion, both contained in the module. Yes, you can find them in the discussions and quizzes areas from the navigation pane, but why? Because you're curious? Okay, let's check it out. Coming from Blackboard, you will find uh, that discussions are similar in that they are threaded, but they are different in appearance in how you post. Let's check one out. This is our Q&A forum where we can ask and answer questions about the course. To post a contribution, simply click on the Reply button. The discussion uses a standard editing box that allows you to format your text. Type what you want to say, and click Post Reply. Responding to other people's posts is pretty similar. Type what you want to say, And if you want to add a picture, check out the Flickr collection. All of these images are Creative Commons licensed for educational use, and attribution is built in through linking to the original. So you can just choose and go. I'm going to add alternative text as well so that my image is accessible. Looks like fun, huh? Try it out this week if you'd like. Okay, I think that's it for now. As you continue to explore Canvas, be sure to have the Canvas guides handy because they have an answer for just about every Canvas question there is. It's incredible. Okay, are you ready to move on? Good, click the next button at the bottom of the page. Have fun.